Okay, so could you solve this basic math problem? And let me go ahead and tell you the problem here. We have 18 divided by parentheses, 3 plus 6 divided by 2 times 1 in parentheses. And we want to go ahead and simplify this numeric expression down to one answer. And we do not want to use our calculators. So no calculators. We just want to use that supercomputer in between our ears, this thing right there. That is far better than any AI. As a matter of fact, that's actual intelligence. So hopefully you have the basic math skills to solve this problem. I have a lot of confidence in you. But uh, this particular problem has an interesting twist in that you can do the problem wrong and still get the right answer. So what am I talking about? Well, of course, I'll explain all of this in just one second. But uh, if you know how to do this, put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer, and then we'll uh, walk through this uh, solution step by step, and I'll show you what I'm talking about, uh, being that you could do this wrong or right and still get the same answer. It's just this type of problem. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And uh, it is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need help with uh, mathematics in any uh, form, maybe you'd want to get ahead or maybe you're struggling in math, well, don't despair. Check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer, and then of course we'll walk through the solution. So the correct answer is three. Now hopefully you, you got this answer, and hopefully you did the steps in the correct order. But some of you could have uh, done uh, this problem incorrectly and still got this right answer. But nevertheless, if you got three as your answer, let's just celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A+, plus, A100%. And multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that you think you may be an expert in the order of operations. Okay. And that's what we're talking about here. And you could, um, in fact, made an error and still got the right answer. So we don't know if you're a certified professional in the order of operations, but you definitely seem to be on the right track. Now, what is the order of operations? Now, well, let me go ahead and just tell you uh, a little bit what a mathematical operation is. So if you add numbers or subtract numbers and multiply numbers, divide numbers, or even take powers of numbers, these things in math are called mathematical operators, okay? And these are mathematical operations. So when we have a problem that involves different mathematical operations, we need to figure out what order to do this problem. Hence, we need to understand the order of operations. So let's go ahead and explain that right now. Okay, so the correct order of operations when you're faced when doing a math problem can be uh, thought of by this lovely little phrase right here called PEMDAS, okay? Now this phrase has been around forever. Pretty sure that my great-great-grandparents were saying this phrase uh, way back in the day, but you can remember this phrase by this nice little uh, memory aid. It's called a mnemonic. It's just a little phrase to help you remember this, and that is please excuse my Dear Aunt Sally, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Now, I don't know what Aunt Sally did, but we thank her for her cool little phrase. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Again, you just want to remember PEMDAS. Now, what does this all mean? Let me go ahead and explain this now. Okay, so the P uh, is, by the way, this is a checklist before I kind of explain this, right? It's, this is a how you're going to think about math problems when there's different operations. And you're going to go from left to right. Again, we're just going to do, uh, we're going to look at these letters one step at a time from left to right. And now let's go ahead and get into these uh, letters here. Okay, so P stands for parentheses, but it could be brackets like this or these other kind of squiggly brackets like so. Uh, really, these are what we call grouping symbols when we're trying to group numbers together like we are here. That's what P stands for. And if there's multiple parentheses in your problem, you'll always work from the innermost out. Okay, so that's what P stands for. Now, E stands for powers, like 2 to the third power. So you might be saying, well, well, how come they don't put like another P here? Well, really it stands for exponents. When we have a power like 2 to the third power, this little number up here is called an exponent. Okay, this big number down here is called a base. The entire thing is a power. So really E is exponents, but you can think of this as power. 
uh, powers, excuse me. Now, the next thing, right, you might be thinking, all right, what does M and D and A and S stand for? You're probably thinking, well, this is multiplication, this is division, addition, and subtraction, and you would be correct. That's what the M, D, A, and S stand for, but here is where most students uh, get confused, okay? They think that, oh, the next thing we're going to do always, always, always is multiplication. And then after all multiplication, we'll do division. Then after all division, we do addition, et cetera, et cetera. That's not the way it works. So with PEMDAS, the next thing you're going to do after you do P and E is M and D together. This is a group, uh, meaning that you're going to do multiplication, uh, and then division. If you see multiplication first from left to right. Now, if you see division, then multiplication, you'll do division first before multiplication if you see it first from left to right in, uh, for example, like an R problem right here, okay? So the next thing, of course, is addition and subtraction, and that works the same way as uh, multiplication, division, that's a group, okay? All right, so that is the order of operations, PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And if you understand that, well, then all you have to do is just think about uh, these letters as you're going through the problem, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get started using our knowledge of PEMDAS to simplify this equation. And by the way, I will show you how, again, you could do this wrong and still get the right answer, okay? All right, so what is the first thing we're going to do? Well, we're going to go to uh, the P and say, okay, are there any parentheses? There certainly are right here. So we're going to work inside the parentheses. So we're going to focus on all this stuff first, uh, and we're going to do everything inside parentheses. We're not going to stop uh, until this is all cleaned up to one number. Okay, so that's what the P steps, the P stands for. It means that hey, you start here and do all this work, and when you're done, then you can move on to the you know, your uh, next stuff. Now, the E is, of course, powers, so we're going to look inside. Do we see any powers? No. So now we're going to consider multiplication and division. Do we see any multiplication and division? Yes, we see multiplication here and division here. Okay. Now, division is becoming uh, comes before multiplication, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, We're going to do this first. Now, you can see here, 6 divided by 2 is going to give us 3. Okay, So... That's what the result's going to be when we take this next step. But let's suppose you did multiplication, right? Let's say we did this wrong, and you went like this, 2 times 1. You would end up with a 2. So you would have 6 divided by 2. You would still end up with 3. Okay, so a lot of you uh, very well may have done the multiplication first and uh, still got this problem correct. Okay, but again... This particular problem, you know, I kind of made it a little bit of a twist here so I can highlight that sometimes in math, you can get the right answer, but you get you got kind of lucky, all right? <laughs> it doesn't necessarily mean you absolutely understand everything perfectly. And of course, that's, uh, you know, the level of uh, understanding that I want you to have, full comprehension. Okay, so if you understand that, let's go ahead and do this step, 6 divided by 2. And uh, that's, of course, pretty easy. So again, we're working inside the parentheses. 6 divided by 2, of course, is 3. Now, we want to just show our uh, work one step at a time, just like this. So your teacher or somebody else reading your work can be like, boy, this person is an expert in the order of operations. They must be watching that guy on YouTube. I don't know, but he seems to teach this stuff pretty well. Okay, so one step at a time. And if you took this step, I can uh, clearly see, oh, wow, this person understands to do division before multiplication because that's what they just did. All right, so now, again, we're not done uh, inside the parentheses yet, so we have addition and multiplication. Clearly, this is our next move, so that's what we're going to do. So we have 18 divided by 3 uh, plus uh, 3 times 1. Of course, 3 times 1 will be 3, so I'll write that down. But uh, we're going to take this step in just one second before we do that step. I want you to take a step and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button. Uh, that little simple act really, really helps me out on YouTube. I'm pretty grateful. Um, actually, I'm extremely grateful to have quite a bit of people follow my channel, follow my work. 
um, that just shows me that there's a lot of people out there that are looking to improve in mathematics. Okay, the best way to improve in math is to first get clear and understandable instruction, and that's what I'm passionate about. And I teach from basic math to advanced math like calculus. So that's a lot of stuff to, uh, to cover, but I love teaching. So anyways, this little tiny act uh, really helps me out. So if you could do that, that'd be great. Now back to the problem. Okay, so here we go. So we have 18 divided by parentheses 3 plus 3 times 1 and parentheses. Again, we're still in the parentheses part of the order of operations PEMDAS. So we're just kind of focused here. We're not even thinking about the 18 yet. All right, so 3 times 1, of course, is 3. So we have 18 divided by parentheses uh, 3 plus 3. Again, we're not done uh, working inside the parentheses yet. So 3 plus 3, of course, is 6. So finally, we have 18 divided by 6, which, which, of course, is 3. And this is exactly how you want to kind of write all these steps out, right? So somebody who's reading your work. Uh, now, who would be reading your work? Let's just kind of talk about that for a second. There's two primary uh, kind of customers of your work, right? So people are like, you know, you're thinking about and I'll tell you who they are right now. So the first person that's reading your work is you, okay? You need to read your own work. So you just don't do math like that and be like, oh, here's my answer, I'm done. No, you need to read and check as you go, right? That's how you significantly improve the odds of um, um, you know getting a math problem correct because there's just too much going on. It's so easy to make a mistake. And uh, so, so again, you're the first kind of uh, consumer or the customer of your own work. In other words, you need to read your own stuff. The second per person, excuse me, that's reading your work is, of course, uh, your teacher, okay, or somebody who's grading your work. So you want to um, kind of tell the story and prove to them that you know exactly what you are doing, okay? All right, so again, the only way you're going to be able to get good at that is is through practice, okay? Practice, practice, practice. It's one thing to watch me do a math problem. It's a whole other thing for you to do it, right? So unless you practice, you're not going to increase your math skills. Now, if you need help with um, basic mathematics like this, check out my Math Foundations mini course. I'll leave a uh, description or link to it, excuse me, in the description of this video. Also, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel that can help you out with this stuff as well. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.